at when we left office. There were about 6,700 kids who were chronically truant for two terms or more. By 2019, that number was 40,000. Now, why did that not then light a fire under Chris Hipkins in terms of attendance? It's only been in the last very short while where the government have actually tried to do anything. And I'll put it to you that they put $50 million in during COVID for an attendance strategy. And the ministry's own advice said that that didn't actually make any difference. They can't find any evidence to see it made any difference. That's the point not true. is, hang on a minute, no, I'm not talking. True. The That's second not true. term two data, which we don't have yet and we won't have till after the election, by the way, should mm. be out by now. Mm. There's no reason for it not to be out. The word on the street is that term two data is less than 50% again. Jan now, the question to Jan is, have you seen that data and what does it say for term two? Absolutely, have not seen that data, but it's also where we get our roll numbers from. That's why it takes so Except long for that data to come in. Because I've been talking but to people at the ministry who say when they look at term two data, and now, with all the other terms, they look at them exactly the same. There is no more work required. The fact is that data should be up. We have to use a social investment approach in terms of making sure that our kids are on track with their learning. The what does reason, that mean? Well, I'll tell you. That, that's just a slogan. What well, does that let mean? Let me explain, Jan, because you might find you might learn something. What we I need to do up. is make well. Let's, we need to make <laughs> sure that our kids are on track with their learning because the reason that they become disengaged, and this is the one thing we never talk about. We talk about all of these other things. We never make the link between achievement and attendance. If half of our kids are not at curriculum, which yes. they're not, by, by the end of year eight for anything, what is the chance they're going to continue to turn up at high school every day? Two points. One, we never talk about the link between achievement and attendance. We've got to make sure our kids are on track with learning. The second thing is that, yes, we have currently a group of hardcore kids that are chronically truant, and we have to be backing people like blue light who take our uh, chronically truant and our, our dis un un unenrolled kids which by the way are at an all time high mm. again. Standards. Six years and what have they done? They got rid of national standards and what have they done in six years? What well, have they done? Absolutely nothing. Jan is still talking about a curriculum refresh. She's still talking about a common practice model. Yeah, because it's actually our the common, common practice model, the common not practice your model. What we won't be doing is having a common practice model that talks about mathematics in but terms of social justice and critical theory. You won't be talking theory. about For goodness You won't sake. be talking about mathematics. You won't I'll be, be talking, talking about, about the young in terms person of at the centre. How, how, you how will are kids not talk about to... the young person at the centre. That's oh what you won't be talking about. Oh my God, Jan, it's word salad. What are you even talking about? No, that's what you're Talking about Common practice model salad. based on social justice and critical theory rather than times tables, for God's sake. If you, want a, if you want that in your life, then vote for Jan. It is a nightmare. We have looked at all of the international evidence around the science of reading, and we know that a structured literacy approach, which is explicit teaching in a systematic way with a scope and sequence, is the way that 95% of our kids will learn to read. I have been in so many schools, Kaiapoi North, Tauranga Intermediate, uh, Tauranga Primary School, uh, and let me tell you about um, Central Normal School, where mm -hmm. they've done structured literacy for two years and their Māori kids are now reading at the same level as every other kid. The results are incredible. Every single school you go into say, we will never go back. I'm looking at, I'm interested in attendance and achievement and making sure we're equipping every single one of our teachers with the resources of professional development and the tools that they need to be able to teach structured literacy and a maths mastery approach.